Hi, as in the previous video, we have seen the different options using which we can make the borders of any particular rectangle or DIV as the rounded corners. Now, what we are going to do is we will take a particular image and we will decorate that particular image as the border of the any particular div or image so let's see how we can make an image as the border so let's start the practical now so for implementing the image border first of all i will download an image which will be suitable for setting as a border so let's come make a google search here so like border images and from here i will choose any all right so let's say i take this one you can take any random one all right it's just for the learning purpose and i will save it with the name border.jpg now I will put that particular image inside my e drive CSS where I'm saving my web page and inside that we have images folder inside which I have copied the border.jpg now let's come back to the notepad plus plus and here I'll start adding some things in the style tag inside the head section so let's see what are these so basically here I'm using some manipulations like there are some ID selectors called border IMG1, border IMG2, border IMG3. So there are three different variations. Uh, border 10 pixel solid transparent. All right. So that the lines should not be there. All right. Now padding, padding will remain same. New things are coming here. Border image source. I just copied the border.jpg. I just passed the URL. Uh, repeat round. All right. So it will keep repeating if the image is smaller than the required required thing. Uh, image slice, all right. So basically, it will give you the uh, size means the width that each image will cover, and image width that is 10 pixels. So let's save it and first see the differences. What are the differences out there? All right. So here you can see there are three paragraphs in which I have applied the ID border IMG 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Let's save it. Come to the browser and refresh. So here you can see that the same image is being added as the border. All right. So here let's see the differences. Like in the first you have applied the width 10 pixel then 20 and then the 30 pixel. So here you can see 10 then double to that 20 and then even bigger 30 so basically this is the single image after that you are just uh, repeating that all right so that's why it is round there is one more option that you can replace here that is stretch if you will pass a stretch you can see the single image it's not getting repeated the single image is being stretched and that is being applied as the border so it depends on you like if you want to make it round and you will keep repeating that after a certain width like uh, 30 or 20 pixel whatever or if you want you can just stretch that and can make as a decorative border for your paragraph or for any particular section of your web page so these are few things which you can manipulate while working with the border image in css3